this is Kentucky Snuff, and this is not a review. I want to I want to address something that I've been thinking about. Um, a lot of people are off put by the fact that you put the nasal snuff, obviously nasal snuff, up your freaking nose. And I take it to work, and people give me looks, and they're like, well, "Why the hell do you do that? Why would you shove something up your nose?" Which brought me to an idea. Now, cigarettes, they're very popular all throughout the world. It's not, it's not a freaking rare, rare thing. Um, when, you, when you smoke your first cigarette, you don't know what in the hell you're doing. And it's going to be like that for the first few cigarettes. You got to get used to it. You got to get used to inhaling smoke. And, you know, you choke on it. I know I did when I smoked my first cigarette. I freaking coughed and choked and all that shit. So what really what really gets me angry is they people say, you know, well, this is going to hurt my nose. I don't want to look like I'm doing cocaine. Okay. When you put a cigarette in your mouth, do you really want to look like you're sucking a dick? I mean, you go through the same thing. You got to you got to adjust to it. It's just like dip. Do you really want to look like you're spitting out poop out of your freaking mouth do you really do you really want cancer in your throat or in your gums or whatever do you really want any of that and it makes me so mad because they don't look beyond the the first attempts of it I know I know anybody that has ever dipped the first few times they tried it they did not like it because they gotta they gotta refine their technique as far as packing it down in their mouth they're gonna taste disgusting and they don't know how to spit it out and they accidentally swallow some and it's the same it's the same thing with smoking and the same thing with nasal snuff you gotta adjust to it you can't expect to do it and it just be the easiest thing in the world because it's not smoking cigarettes when you first start out is not the easiest thing in the world when you do dip it's not the easiest thing in the world and I know when you start pipe tobacco it's not the easiest thing in the world um, so to the people that tell me that, why would you shove that up your nose? I just want to go ahead and I want to give out a blatant fuck you because that's really offensive to me. I'm not a I'm not a crack addict. I don't snort cocaine. I don't snort heroin. I don't do any of that crap. And to me, everything has a learning curve. I mean, some people are naturally better at things than others, but they still have to learn how to do it. They still have to adjust to it. So. It just it gets under my skin when people talk. They just trash it without ever trying it. I mean, I've had a couple people I've offered them pinches and they done it, and they're like, "Okay, I can see why you enjoyed this, but it's not for me." That it's easier to do that instead of just putting it down. Me, I like five years ago, I might have looked at taking snuff differently because it just wasn't my thing, but. I tried it about a year ago, almost a year ago, for the first time, and I loved it on the first initial try. I loved it. And it just seems like smokers and dippers and all that, they don't they don't give it a proper chance. They just put it down because they're so set in their ways that they can't they can't give up their precious cigarette or their precious freaking dip to try something that's a lot better for you than any of those things. And a lot more enjoyable. And a lot more variety. A lot more variety. With cigarettes, you basically have you have your full flavors. You have your menthol. You have your lights. You have your ultralights. You have your freaking this and that. And the variety stops at a certain point with your dip. You have like your wintergreen and your mint. Your freaking natural. Your, uh, your straight. There's a couple fruit flavors from like Skull and crap like that, but once again, the variety, it eventually ends. With nasal snuff, it, there's a whole, there's a plethora of flavors that you can have. You have your SPs, you have your mentholated snuffs, you have your toasts, you have your scotches, you have all of that crap. And just because it falls into that variety doesn't mean it's all the same as with cigarettes and dip. You, the SPs, there's all kinds of different varying SPs that you can have. Menthol, there's various things. You have your medicateds with your toasts. Not all toasts are the same. Scotches, not all scotches are the same. And then you have to take into account that 
snuffs by region even vary, even if a mentholated snuff from America might be different from a mentholated snuff from the United Kingdom. So it just, it really, it really makes me angry. And I see that I'm leaking out of my nose right there. It just makes me angry. I really wish people would stop and give snuff a chance. You might find something a lot better for you that you enjoy a lot. End rant.